Hi, this is Ty with JuiceWheels.biz. I just want to do a quick video on how to download the Kingsong app and some basic functions of the app. This video is just for beginners. It's really just to get you up and running, well, rolling on your wheel as soon as you can. Uh, what you'll first want to do is download the Kingsong app. Um, to do this, you can go to the iTunes store if you have iOS. If you have Android, you'll have to go to their website because it is not on um, uh, Google Play on the Google Play Store. So first, go to the website, click on App Download, and then click on Android right there. Uh, you'll download the app um, to your device. Once you do that, it's extremely important if you have Android uh, to go to your settings, click on your King Song app, click on Permissions. And make sure your location is on. If your location is not on, the app will not work. Well, now that you have the King Song app downloaded, go ahead and turn on your Hello, King Song. unicycle. Uh, what I have here is a 16S. Bluetooth is connected. I actually already connected it, of course. Um, I've had uh, the music portion of the King Song. So now click on the King Song app. If it a lot of times with this app it crashes once it starts and then I have to um, click it again and then I click scan and then I find the 16s. Uh, like I said, a lot of times it takes me two times to connect. Uh, the app is just a little bit buggy. What you'll no first notice is uh, your front screen. If I move the wheel, you'll see the speed change. Unfortunately, um, it has kilometers per hour, and there's no way to change it to miles per hour. Uh, most U.S. people would rather say miles per hour, but unfortunately, there's no way to change that. Below that is the horn, uh, temperature of the unicycle. Um, if you scroll to the left, you'll see... Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you can see what my total mileage is. I've had my wheel for about uh, four weeks now. Got 415 kilometers. Absolutely love and enjoy riding it. If you scroll to the right, you'll see um, device setup, and it's going to talk about, I'm sorry, the next uh, little thing is level calibration. Uh, I've done a video on how to calibrate your uh, unicycle, so check out the YouTube channel. You can see that. Speed limit setup. Um, it comes locked at a, a lot slower speed. I forgot the exact numbers, but you cannot uh, change it past that until you've went a certain kilometers uh, on the unicycle. There are ways to unlock it, uh, and, uh, and there are YouTube videos on how to do that, or you can contact your dealer to see if he would uh, give you the unlock key. So the 16S is set at uh, 30, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, class one is the first alarm, class two is the second alarm, class three is the third alarm, and Ollie speed is actually top speed. I have mine set at the max speed, so if I try to go up to 36, it'll bring it back down because um, the max speed is 35 uh, kilometers per hour. So I go back to this screen. Um, speed limit decoding. Um, well, usually you'd get another screen if your device is not unlocked, but since mine's unlocked, it goes directly to this screen. Um, firmware upgrading, lighting control, pretty self-explanatory. Um, that turns on the headlights. That's auto, and that turns it off. And then, of course, flashing. Um, <laughs> Cycling mode setup. Uh, I usually just ride it ride on uh, player mode. I hear a lot of guys uh, use riding mode for off road. I do a little bit of off road, but I haven't played with the riding mode yet. But I plan on doing that soon. And that's about it. That's just uh, how to download the app and a couple of the basic functions of the app. Happy riding.